I don't want to waste your time, so there won't be an intro. Let's start with the most interesting part of the video. How do I rank the different sites? And this might surprise a few of you, because I think that Bar and Master are the best sites, while Kitchen and Garage are the worst sites. So pretty much a reversal of how it was before. So let's start with the strongest site, which I think is Bar Gaming. The most relevant change for the site has to do with window positioning. On the new chalet, they removed three of the K9 windows, they removed a library window, and they shifted the position of this window. And all of that combined allows us to actually hold library now. We'll play Jaeger on fireplace and Maestro in the library corner, which enables this crossfire on both library windows. Specifically against window pressure, we also get some unexpected support from our side anchor. If you open the game's hatch, it's pretty much impossible for attackers to use that window. And if you position yourself correctly, you can also help out against a small library window like this. So with this strat, we're not really worried about library windows. We are much more worried about attackers taking control of the entire top floor and then clearing us out from office. In order to defend against that, we're going to make use of this really strong deployable shield at the top of library stairs. That one immediately gives us this nice 90 degree crossfire and in order for that shield to survive more than 10 seconds, we're going to have Wamai play behind it. Now that's pretty nice, but we can do even better than that. Because if we open feed holes in all of the library walls, we can have Maestro participate in a crossfire too. When you're playing this position, you gotta be a bit careful though, because if attackers repel here, they get a pretty deep angle, but it should be manageable. Okay, so that's the key concept of the strategy. Now let's use some utility to reinforce our setup. First, we're going to give Maestro a deployable shield. Now, I don't think that's 100% necessary, but it could be nice to have, especially if Wama and Jaeger die early on and you want to continue playing for a kill. We're going to use two ADS to protect Maestro and one to protect Wama's shield. Then four reinforcements in office and an evil eye to get some additional information. And with that, we are pretty much set for the top floor. But what's going on in the site itself? By far the strongest position here is the stock area. With a smoke playing behind this reinforcement, we have pretty much full control of games. And if we open a hole towards bar, we can also hold down a pretty big part of that room too. At this point, we have four reinforcements left. So we want to reinforce the wall towards garage stairs to help out smoke. We want to reinforce two walls in bar, which allows us to play behind the counter if we wanted to. And the last reinforcement is going to go here to limit the amount of angles that the attackers can get from dining. Finally, we want to be prepared for people crouch walking into sight. So we're going to have barbed wire on both garage and blue stairs and we'll have an evil eye between bar and gaming. Now, you might have realized that so far we only have four operators and that's really all we need. So the fifth one is a bit of a wild card, but I like pulls a lot. The strongest way of attacking the site is still pushing library from office and a lot of the floor there is destructible. So I think pulls can easily get a kill here. And he also provides quite a lot of info, not only on the office players, but he can also spot a potential horizontal dining take really early on. But I don't think that those are going to be particularly strong. Jaeger can hold bar from above, Wamai always has the option of peeking from library stairs, and we can also have a player drop and then play behind the counter in bar. So I'm not really concerned about those kind of takes. All right, so let's quickly recap. Our main goal is to hold library. Against attackers outside library, we have these crossfires between Maestro and Jaeger, and we also get support from Smoke on site. Against attackers trying to clear from office, we again have a triple crossfire between Wamai, Maestro and Jaeger, while also getting intel from below with the pulse and dining, who, by the way, is also responsible for taking over the position of Wamai or Jaeger if they happen to die early. So that's the general idea for bar and games. Now let's move on to Master and Office. This is probably the part of the map that received the most changes, because now there are actually a few playable positions. But it's honestly not even that many, because there are still a lot of windows that give attackers a bunch of control. Whenever you are in a situation like that, where there just aren't five playable spots on site, you have to extend your defense. And we are going to extend our defense into library. Which is pretty convenient, because we just talked about how to defend library. However, we can't just copy it exactly because the library corner position won't work out if we don't have control of the room below. But we can reuse the idea of someone playing fireplace, this time with him getting the shield. And we can also use the idea of having holes in the library walls to get some more angles into it. 
In a way, it's the same strat, but just reversed. With this setup in play, attackers probably don't want to enter library, and the next best option is library stairs. Now, we're going to have Jaeger start on this position, but it's unlikely that he can hold it for very long. So we are also going to set up a shield here in office, so we can cover that lane even when Jaeger is already gone. Okay, moving on to the setup of the actual site, we are going to want to reinforce the right office wall to limit the influence of the master window player. We want to reinforce these three walls in bathroom and the two in solarium in order to create a safe space in closet. And then we want a player at the top of trophy stairs to hold those down. Now, admittedly, playing this position is a bit tricky. Between bathroom window and solarium window, you don't really have a lot of space to move around. But you also have to realize that as long as we have library control, every attacker on the bathroom window is going to be very afraid of someone peeking this window. That being said, you are of course pretty vulnerable to nades here, so what I would recommend is to be flexible with your ADS placement. If it turns out that everyone is playing solarium takes, then you want to stack ADS here, and maybe even have Wamai play the position. If it turns out that library takes are more common, then you want to stack utility on the library side. At this point, I don't really know what's going to be more popular yet. Obviously, Master Window is a pretty strong position, and if the attackers get Solarium control, you have some pretty obvious plant spots, but at the same time, there are a bunch of possible runouts on the Master Window, which you should definitely be using as a defender. If that still isn't enough to stop Solarium takes, you could also consider opening holes here in West Bank to Trophy and in Dining to Lobby. That way, you can get an angle all the way from Lobby to Trophy stairs which really puts a lot of pressure on every attacker trying to walk up those stairs. Let's finish up the default setup though. We need rotation holes in bathroom to master, closet to hallway and master to office. We're going to place barbed wire on lobby stairs, library stairs, trophy stairs and canine and we're going to use evil eyes to get information on solarium and library hallway. Again, we only have four operators at the moment, with the fifth one being a wildcard again. Best is probably Melusi, but if she's banned, you can't go wrong with Valkyrie or Legion instead. If you're not happy with playing around deployable shields, or if Wamai is banned, you can also very easily play Mira here, and just have two Mira windows where the shields were going to be. Okay, so that's the main idea. We are basically defending the entire top floor. Against library pressure, we have Wamai and Melusi holding angles. Against library stairs, we have Jaeger, who can also transition into a roam below. If our library hold fails, we still have this shield in office, which should serve to waste even more time. Also, in this situation, when you've lost library, you should be aware of two plays with a lot of potential. First, you can run out K9 and punch this window to get an unexpected angle on Thermite trying to breach office. And you can also do the same thing by jumping out of piano window and peeking this hallway window. Just some potential plays that you should be aware of. Against Solarium focus takes, we have smoke contesting trophy stairs and we can use closet as a bit of a safe space. This position is also very nice to deny canine pushes. The last thing you need to be aware of is that even though the master window repel is a very strong position and you should be going for runouts to kill that guy, the position is actually a bit weaker than you might initially think because you don't get an angle on the door between master and solarium even though it really looks that way. So technically this position in master is safe to play in. Alright, that's probably all you need to know about defending master and office. Okay, so the two sites I talked about so far are actually the best sites on this map in my opinion. But that doesn't mean that garage and kitchen are unplayable. Especially in ranked, you can win a lot of rounds just due to the attackers being uncoordinated and not watching flanks properly. And that's something you can really abuse on kitchen and garage. But if the attackers have a clear idea of what to do, then I think that kitchen and garage are actually kind of bad. But that's a topic for a different video. For the last part of this video, I still want to show you a possible garage strat, because either way, you're going to have to defend kitchen or garage at some point, so might as well be prepared. It's a very basic strategy though. The only real gimmick is that we're going to play Wamai behind a shield in this electric area, somewhat similar to what you do on Oregon or on the old chalet to be fair. As for reinforcements, we want to get three walls in wine, one between garage and wine, two on garage, and then both hatches and this lobby stairs wall. Then we need rotations. We want some kind of wall denial. I chose mute, but if everyone's playing snowball takes, then you can also play bandit here. Then we want information. 
in this case Maestro with one evil eye in both bomb sites. We want some barbed wire to prevent any kind of unexpected surprise. And to top it off, we are playing Jaeger to protect our utility. Pretty basic stuff. As you can see, we have 5 players on site at the moment. And I do think that there are enough playable spots to pull that off, but obviously you can start by roaming around library stairs and then fall back later on. Once everybody is on site, your main goal is to always have a crossfire. This means that you are always going to need someone on lobby stairs to get this crossfire, and you always need someone in this L area to get crossfires on both Wine and Garage. In fact, this position is so strong that we're also going to play a deployable shield to help this guy out. Now, this strat should be fine for rank, especially depending on your elo. But if you think about it, this strat is pretty much exactly what you used to play on the old chalet. And well, that wasn't a lot of fun against attackers that knew what they were doing. But alright, that makes three defense strats that you can try out on the new chalet. And all of those were somewhat designed with ranked in mind. So it's not like this is some kind of pro league only theory craft. I honestly think that all of these strats are at the very least a good starting point to build strategies around. Obviously I haven't played any ranked games yet and it's much too early to claim that I have understood the matter or something like that. But yeah, you should at least give it a try, see how it works for you and then get back to me with your results. Links to all of the final slides are in the description. On a more general note, I quite like the map. I think there's room for some really interesting strategies and I wouldn't be surprised if this map was eventually adopted into the Pro League pool. And that would be a really nice change of pace in my opinion, because Chalet is not nearly as defender-sided as all of the other maps like Oregon and Theme Park. So I'd be very interested to see how this map would be played in Pro League. Alright, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you learned something new and thanks for watching.